Hi. So that's what I did in our previous video. We did an experiment regarding refraction. So that's how it came. That was incident from a laser, a red laser. Although it might have appeared pink. So that's how light entered through. This was water in this beaker, and bend it. Okay. Now in this video, we will understand why did it bend, and its mathematics. So let us call this medium one. Okay. And let us say this is our second medium, medium two. Now. if it's bending towards the normal what does it tell you regarding the velocities well if you watch a previous video we did an uh, regarding you know we had a beach and a man ran to save another guy he had to bend towards the guy in order to reduce the distance because he swam a lot slower than he could run that's what this tells and this is general okay so in other words if light is showing something like this okay if light is bending towards the normal then we can conclude that if it let us assume that it has velocity v2 here and v1 here that v1 the velocity of light in medium 1 is greater than the velocity of light in medium 2 and if you understand want to understand this deeply the link is given in the description all right now we define something known as the refractive index okay so it's denoted as mu or in some books it's written as n you can choose whichever notation you like so mu 2 with respect to 1 now this will help you a lot later but till now let us understand this point that mu 2 with respect to 1 is the ratio of these two velocities velocity medium 1 and then you divide it by velocity of medium 2 this is called relative refractive index this that's the ratio now we define something known as absolute refractive index what is it let us see the thing is when if we make this medium medium one as vacuum now light travels generally fastest in vacuum okay so let me just write it down and the velocity of vacuum light in va uh, vacuum is very special it has a special symbol to it so we denote it by c and its value is approximately 3 into 10 to the power any guesses 8 meters per second very very fast okay now again we are making medium uh, medium one as vacuum so what do we get we get mu okay is velocity of light in medium one so that is c You know, don't understand special C divided by so there's if we there's no one and issue of one and two so we can write it down we the velocity of light in the same medium and you divide it that's called the absolute refractive index okay absolute refractive index we box this and this one now if you notice carefully in our experiment as our angle incidence increased the angle of refraction are also increased now how are these two related now no if angle i increases then then angle r increases or if sin i now why sin i because uh, sin i is almost equivalent to measuring i because if 
and angle increases then the sign also increases and I'll take the sign of angle R okay now because I increases R also increases but more accurately sin I increases sin R increases therefore this ratio must be a constant okay now what is this ratio hmm. now that's what Snell's law says so what does that tell you if you take sin I and you divide sine of this angle you measure this angle take the sine of it you divide these two we will get the velocity of light in medium one this one divided by the velocity of light in medium two that's all we will get this is a proof there has a proof to this but we are not discussing that proof here because so it has some complicated mathematics uh, something known as differential calculus Th that's what we get we divide these two sin i sin i and we get the ratio of these velocities now, this is very interesting what can we write we can say that this is from this relation mu 2 with respect to 1 mu 2 with respect to 1 and if you want uh, in terms of individual refractive indices you can easily show that uh, yeah like mu 2 with respect to 1 okay if it's that's v1 by v2 and then v will be nothing but c by mu this will be mu1 by mu2 right this will be a let me see this for once v1 by mu2 by mu1 sorry mu2 by mu1 we can also write this is equal to mu2 the absolute refractive index of a medium to this one divided by the absolute refractive index of this one now this entire stuff is known as Snell's law and if even you uh, if you prove this one then these two will immediately follow okay that's a simple derivation that's what Snell's law tell us another important thing I want you to notice that if you take the ratio v1 by v2 this will be nothing but frequency so nu1 times lambda1 divided by nu2 times lambda2 okay but here's the catch the frequency of light in a medium is independent of the medium it only depends on the frequency of the source so if the source had some frequency nu then these two nu1 and nu2 will be equal so we can remove this sign and these two beautifully cancel out so we get v1 by v2 as lambda1 so wavelength in medium 1 divided by our wavelength in medium 2 that's important and of course then these two will be equal to mu2 by mu1 and then you can also equate them to sin i by sin r so that's what you learned in this video now let us try let us uh, see using a pro uh, by giving you a problem so th this is a laser this is the laser which i use in experiments now if i read this this has Okay, it has a wavelength of 630 to 600, uh, yeah, 650, so let us call that. Okay, so wavelength, of course that's in air. In air, is 650 nanometers. And nanometer is 10 to the power, yeah, that's right, minus 9 meters. Okay, that's what's given, and it's given that the refractive index, absolute refractive index of water is 1.33. And of course, this has to be a dimensionless number because it's the ratio of velocity, so the meters cancel out, the seconds cancel out, and it's also given 
that the defective index, the absolute defective index of air, now this is important, although it's exactly equal to, not pretty equal to 1.0003, okay, now if you put this value in here, you get a value which is very, very close to 1, alright, so in most numericals in physics, we consider or we approximate rather as mu of air to be equal to the to 1 and of course this is equal to the absolute refractive index of vacuum because light travels at the same speed in vacuum so I want you to use mu air as 1 okay now calculate the velocity of air oh sorry velocity of light in water that's the question for you and I want you to answer this in the comment section so thanks for watching and I hope this really helped